Could you please introduce yourself, share your name, what school you attend, and a bit about yourself and your interests? Hello, my name is Madiha Javid. I'm a senior at University of Alabama in Birmingham. I am majoring in political science and communication. I'm from Palama, Alabama, and I am interested in going to law school after graduation. And currently I'm interning at the Judd Johnson Institute where I got to work on a lot of amazing projects. Um, could you speak about some of the work or projects that you have done as an intern at the Institute and what you've learned from these experiences? Well, I worked on quite a bit of projects. Um, my favorite one has to be making Instagram Reels for the Judd Johnson Institute. I also got to help organize this college program here down in Montgomery. Um, one of the new projects that I worked on is working on an annual report right now. That's something I haven't done before. I was a little scared going into this project because I was like, what if I don't do my best? But I realized that it's actually fun. I was scared. I feel like you have to like learn new things before you make a judgment. But I feel like just be open to stuff. And what has your time at the Johnson Institute taught you about the constitution or a judicial system or law? Um, because I was interning at the Johnson Institute there in partnership with the Middle District Court and I was able to attend a lot of hearings. And for the first time, I was able to see how the laws are applied into real world scenarios. I got to see how judges have to do their best every single time because other people's lives are involved in it. And I also saw like how constitution is the foundation to our legal system. And finally, what skills or lessons from your internship do you think you will carry with you as you pursue a career in law? Um, I've been here for two months now, and I think every single project that I worked on and even attending the hearings kind of tied back to Judge Johnson himself. And I got to see what kind of man he was, what kind of judge he was. And I think one thing that I will carry with me as I take my, uh, pursue my legal career is stand up for what's right. Even if it means there are a thousand people in your opposition, you, ha you should never compromise on your morals. It is not that hard to see what the right thing to do is. So it's very important to, you know, recognize what's right and actually, you know, do something about it.